But first tonight at 10, a glimpse into the future of downtown Milwaukee. Today we got a first look at possible redesigns for streets and parks 20 years down the road. Now the city wants to hear what you think. Sarah McGrew talked to people at an open house tonight just about how to make the area more welcoming for all Milwaukeeans. Sarah. Yeah, Shannon, um, as the city begins to reimagine this downtown area, many community members tell me that equity and accessibility need to be a priority when it comes to housing, transportation and entertainment. Is Milwaukee's downtown being designed for people who already live and work downtown or is it being designed for all of Milwaukee? That's the question Chrissy Fung carried with her at an open house showcasing plans for downtown Milwaukee's future. Part of the reason why I moved out of downtown was I was paying a lot for a really small space and I really just couldn't afford it. The makeup of residents living downtown doesn't match up with the population of the rest of the city. 60% of downtown residents are white. That's compared to 42% across the city. For Chrissy, a big part of Creating an equitable and diverse downtown is affordable housing. I want to make sure that they can affordably live, people like families can live downtown. Chrissy was at the open house with her friend Martha Collins. And I would love to use public transportation. For Martha, it's all about getting to and around downtown with ease. We're already such a segregated uh, community, and so where's the connection to downtown to other surrounding communities? The city and business improvement districts say transit and housing are two areas they're looking to improve by 2040. We want to be intentional about making sure that every recommendation has an equitable lens. Janine Edwards is working as an equity consultant for the downtown plan, and she says that includes building a diverse community council to give input at every stage. That can be from a standpoint of accessibility issues, from a standpoint of diversity, equity and inclusion, but also just lived experience. Some of the recommendations include expanding the hop to King Drive and Walker's Point, creating more pedestrian friendly areas and diversifying the type of housing to include affordable and family options. Now this redesign and the plans are still a ways off. It's set to be complete by 2040, but many of the people I talked to at that open house say they hope to see a lot of it be set into motion well before that. Live in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News. Sarah, thank you. And another question that's up in the air is what to do with the aging I-794 bridges that run between downtown and the third ward. One of the options in the 2040 proposal calls for tearing them down and replacing them with more trees, pedestrian walkways, mixed use housing and outdoor places to eat and drink. Well, you can jump in on that conversation by scanning this QR code you see right there on your screen to get a closer look at the plans. The city says it has reached out to hundreds of residents in every zip code for their input as well. Next spring, they hope to release details of their findings.